Hi everybody, my name is Tiago and this is my entry for the competition for the Construct 2 competition favorite features and my favorite feature of the software is physics uh, I build a little system here where is using physics so the basic idea is like I have some blocks here and then the block with the the dollar sign if it hits the ground and it stays there you win if it drops you lose but I added some nice stuff too I put like explosion I put like a swing with a hammer I put like a cannon too and I added pause to the game and you can restart the game so first let me play first like one time so I can show it to you and then later I can so here I have blocks the number of blocks so if I start like breaking them it drops to three and then two because it hit the ground you won so here it says press R to restart so let's restart the whole system so if I click here nothing happens but if I press E in the keyboard and I press it now I have an explosion and I'm using physics to move the blocks the thing is even though the explosion is is like working from whatever I click if I click directly the block nothing happens so the functionality is still working so let me see if I can drop the the, the block so you can lose so then you can lose so you lost so that's the idea another interesting thing is like I put a can here and then if you press like um, space bar it like moves everything you press it again you lost because the blocks not there press R so you don't have to keep restarting the browser the whole page um, another another neat thing is like if I press S have like a swing with a hammer so if you can see it again and when you lose I made it like I asked I made a game to stop and pause it uh, a neat thing is for example if you press the space bar and then if you press P in the keyboard it says P to pause it pauses the game and you can see that I can keep pausing and see the movement what is like very neat that's one of the like nicest things in the game in the software like construct 2 I really like it uh, I'm talking about um, physics but that's one like a really really nice thing and now let's go back to construct 2 I'm gonna show you some stuff this is basically like how the game is so the hammer is here it's uh, I have three pieces have a uh, an arm and then the block that's like the hammer this is like the explosion where when I enable cannon and the bullet so in the event sheet I, I, I created some global variables if, if you don't want you can create like local as well but I, I prefer like doing uh, global I set like a lot of the things inside everything everything is a group that it's like easier because when I click P when I press P in the keyboard here I set time scale to zero and then I set group everything to deactivate what means is it stops the time but nothing else can be nothing is you can you cannot interact with anything anymore because sometimes even though you can set time scale to zero but if you if you don't deactivate the explosions for example when you click is gonna happen so that's why I'm deactivating and when you press it again it has an else and then reactivate uh, of course you can make this code here better but this is just for the example I don't like that many lines or some stuff that repeats especially for the song I think you can make like some I can make some improvement not repeating that many times like putting something in a group and then when something happens like run that that specific set of codes like if, we, if I'm talking about JavaScript I would like make a function and when I need it I call it like I can do like a lot of stuff in JavaScript and jQuery but I'm still getting a hold of construct 2 and I believe when I learn everything's gonna be fine so here's like on when the layout starts I'm like I, I'm setting the whole text here for this uh, 
uh, text uh, object and then I reset all the glo global variables so if, if you have set any variables before that so I connect the arm to the hammer I'm sorry the arm to the hammer so that's the first thing so now I have regular blocks that when they are outside for any reason for example if the hammer hits them you're gonna be subtract one from the block variable destroy the block and then change the variable I'm sorry change the text for example if you pay attention here when I click on something it's subtract but if I click if I use the thing here too I have block number one so like I said the game needs a lot of improvements especially when you win or lose because what I'm doing right now is I set a weight for example if the main block the yellow block hits the floor what's gonna happen is gonna wait one second because maybe it hit the floor but it didn't drop yet but it will for example if you start like this it hits the floor but stays in other cases what can happen is hold on let me try something else you see it hit and then it went down so that's why I'm talking about like give one minute like one second to see what's gonna happen and then you see that's what I don't like I have to repeat a lot of this a lot of the same information here so I'm thinking about either creating groups or learning how to do using like a idea like functions like I talked about before so for the belt for the bullet I press space and then it spawn a bullet from the cannon in a position zero like right here see the origin so position zero so it spun right here and then go in that direction the bullet uses use two things I'm using the bullet behavior and the physics behavior but everything else it's like physics the hammer the arm uh, explosion you don't need anything for the object for the sprite itself but when I click on it uh, what is the explosion right here so if explosion is true because I press E what's gonna happen is gonna set position for the sprite where my mouse is and then it's gonna start animation from beginning and then it's gonna play the, the, uh, the sound so it's gonna boom and then when you when you uh, when you click on it you can use uh, the force to push the object from one side to the other also here uh, this is for the hammer the hammer is it's locked so if you can see here hold on you're gonna set movable because it's not you gonna I'm gonna set enough velocity from X a thousand Y three thousand so if you wanna go like super fast you just like make it like bigger numbers and then to prevent rotations that's like because I don't want this block like rotating like crazy but if you go there and then you just like toggle for a while you can see what I'm talking about if I press S the block keep rotating but that's that's not what I want so another thing that, it, that I want to disable so you can see things is if I disable those things so the game is not gonna stop when things are outside of the thing so that's what I'm talking about see the the hammer like what I call the block a hammer it's not rotating keeps his position all the time then you can even like do something like this that interact with one another so that's my entry I hope you guys like it uh, I'm gonna make some changes and then I'm gonna post this to the website so people can take advantage of it anyways you can see the code so you can copy it anyways some of the information like I mentioned many times it can be improved this is was done fast because I want to participate in the competition I might not win but I really want to participate because I've, I've been working with Construct for a while. I'm still, uh, I'm even making a series in Portuguese because I speak Portuguese. I'm from Brazil, live in the United States. So I'm trying to like help other people that are starting right now to make a game and they're really loving it. And then I really like Construct too. Thank you very much for watching this video and ciao.